Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So my network just disappointed me. I'm so sorry. I was using uh, Wi-Fi, and then it just it just went blank on me. Uh, I really really apologize. Um, but yeah, um, I was having a chat, a nice chat with Tandy Dry, and uh, you know we were just. Uh, in the middle of a beautiful conversation and then my network messed up ask his tandy my bad my bad i don't know what happened uh ish, guys okay and we're back yeah yo this thing is disappointing me. I, I was on, I was on, uh, on my Wi-Fi, so I just used hey, the mobile data. Hey, this thing. Nah, these things happen. I'm hoping that uh, that conversation is safe to my wall. If it isn't, then ish, I'll just have to remember these uh, answers for the article. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, but anyway, I was about to. Um, I, I had three more questions for you. So I yes. want to talk about, you know, um, the GCF uh, movement, um, which is obviously a very important um, organization <laughs> that, you, that you are the face of. And, you yes. know, earlier on in the interview, you said that you, you know, you want to be more, you think that the world, people need to be more honest, people are broken, and you just felt that it's important for you to share your story. So what made you decide to just, you know, um, share your childhood uh, story? Um, well, because there are such movements as hashtag who's next, um, justice for Mang Mang. I mean, these are things that I think we live in a world where rape culture is so like, like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. people, people are not concerned of why do people think it's okay to like, do things to other people like if you wouldn't do that to Mawako or Umdanako. So um I think that's why it's important because like I said, every three hours a woman is killed in our country. Uh we haven't even spoken about violence against children. Um so yeah like nothing has changed since I was a, a, a child and things have just gotten worse but like people are just keeping quiet because one mind it doesn't affect you but if we're just gonna keep on like evolving in a world with a bandaba petai or with like stupid mindsets, eventually we will get affected because we've allowed it to go on for so long. So I thought that it was just important for me as well not to um act like I've come from like maybe a normal past. I just used to think hey, like past them it's so embarrassing. Like how do you start explaining half of the things that I've I've gone through to people? Um, whereas when I looked at a lot of people from the outside, I was like, oh, I wish I knew how it is to grow up with Umama, Nobaba, and like a family, you know. But as I grew and I started finding out that, you know what, um, people and families as well have very like dark secrets. Especially as I old like as Tandu Kuluma, we don't like to talk about the truth. Um, we don't like, yeah, we, we just don't like, we don't communicate. I get communication. Um, amongst uh, our Daiki. So I thought, Ugu, you know what? I want to I wanna be the change that I want to see. So I cannot be one of those people in Ilan and so what am I going to do? You know, I feel like the world is action. So the action that you put in is the action that will get out. And clearly, yeah, we run by people who are in the action. So that's why we are here. That's why in our country, things like rape culture, it's so easy for people to get raped. It's so easy for anything to happen, especially to Abant Fazani. Hence why I said earlier on, um, it was hard for me to be like Happy Women's Day when I said that uh, when we're in a space of a woman gets killed every three hours. Like, mm -hmm. that is crazy. Yeah, one. Um, I was taken away from my home situation because it wasn't safe for me. Um, I was neglected. Uh, there was a lot of things in Jebe's rights. So I got taken to uh, Indau where they looked after me. 
And basically what they do at that home is they focus on finding children, families where they can, um, it's very important, early, early childhood, whatever development. So if when we can, that's the only thing your child is going to know. Yeah, mm-hmm. So what GCF basically does, it stands for give a child a family. What they do is basically they look for um, uh, um, parenting. Yes, parenting for or in the like way. But at some time, but place they call. Now they'll screen. They first screen you to make sure who's okay. Uh, Jungle about what time this in place. I will bloom the nilona. Is it gonna be safe for her? Um, is she gonna be okay? They also get trained. Or would see. Um, when you adopt Umutofan and Otan, she doesn't come from like a normal background. So if she acts out, let's say something like as silly as maybe banging your head against the wall, it's just an example because mm-hmm. other people, um, they experience trauma in a different way. I mean, at the home, they tell, they tell me that every time I saw men, I would run and scream and like, you know, uh, just hide mm-hmm. away and start crying. So uh, we all, Motatum Dano Jalo, you need to know how to look after Lom Dwana. You need to um, know how to handle Lom Dwana. So that's basically what they do. Um, that's what they did, uh, basically what they did for me. I was fortunate enough that one of the ladies that worked at the home, um, she kind of like, we fell in love with each other. She looked after me. Um, and yeah, we fell in love. They screened her. I couldn't go back home because of situations like like I was explaining to you earlier on. And yeah, from there, like they screened her, uh, she became a foster mom and yeah, she looked after me and I'm the woman that I am because of they, they are bringing the way that they uh, taught me to heal and just um, deal with my pain and um, yeah, so I, I, I have to give it up to GCF. I have to give it to my late mom uh, for the incredible work that they did because um yeah they were very patient they just were like patient and all they did was teach me love so i guess yeah that's that's the person that i want to be i want to be a peaceful person i want to rather practice love love and light you know than mm. an angry person we are we're so angry like humans are just angry people especially tina zotaki hey mm. we have so much anger so um i want to I want to show people that, you know what, there actually is another way. And uh, I like it that because a lot of people can relate to my story, even if they don't want to talk about it. Rape culture is like a doorstep away from your sisters, your your girlfriends, your, you know, it's really like this close. So, um, yeah, it's time that we talk about it. It's time that Tina, uh, yeah, my big engine. Yeah, super honest in me face, like we call each other out. Um, I always use an example of something as simple as if Nina, Nima Jens, you're already um, talking about house party, I mean, that already is like low key on border, borderline onto rape culture. I want. Yeah, Imagine, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now like, it's just, you know, you go out exciting for girls because you're not really allowed to ever leave the house. So when you get a chance, you're out there going down my chance about planning to lose a lot. I'm saying just so it's small things like that that just shows you how we live in such a simple, simple. It's just so simple. Uber in a rape culture, the whole bliss vibe, the whole yeah, yeah. There's so many things that um um made me have so much passion go to why I'm from against a lento in the inside. It's like mm-hmm. I can't talk about anything else but my truth, where I come from, why my music sounds the way that it sounds. Um I go back home to that home and I look at kids that are like four years old, three years old, and if you would cry, if you would know half of the things that are done to those little boys, to those little girls, and you just have to look at them and be like they inspire me. They inspire me because I'm like, oh my gosh, babies, I was once you been feeling as in blank, blank, and like, you know what's going on. So yeah, it's very important that I came out with my story, spoke about the truth because yeah, oh, Pila, if you're not if you're not gonna live in your truth, uh, you're gonna be miserable, and there's already a lot of miserable people in this world. So um, I want to be less miserable, I guess. So yeah, I just wanna really come in truth. 
So okay, it's important well, that I talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Look, uh, that's powerful. And then, how can how can you know people help that don't know about uh, you know this organization? Like people like myself, you know, what, what what's the next step? Okay. So basically, if you can go like even now onto my Instagram, you'll see there on my bio, uh, it's written I rep. Um, give a child a family. If you can just basically follow their page, um, they will direct you to their um, website. I mean, I even speak about my story in more details, you know, um, about what happened to me and also how you can get involved. Um, how can you, you know, whether you have to call them or donate uh, or even bring a tin of beans. Um, how, Nakona, it takes, like, there's truth in it, says it takes a village but now we need some i think we need to have villages that think better you know that process mm -hmm. things better so our children can be brought up in you know better with better mindsets you know to not think that it's okay to do half the things that happen to you know women children so yeah so please do yeah follow follow on my socials you'll see the links but do follow GCF and they will be keeping you guys in the loop of everything that we're going um well all the things that we're doing for you guys so yeah okay wow yeah. you know and um it's you know it's so sad when when i think about the things that men put women through you know and yeah. uh, but also a lot of people don't realize that men are also afraid of other men so it's yes it's, it's, yes it's 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 a really it's it's, it's a big uh, problem in south africa and obviously you know um uh, organizations like these are, are, are key because more people get exposed to what's happening and most importantly more people can help and obviously you know people that are in the spotlight like yourself if you know when you share your stories more people can relate so i just want to thank you for that and uh, your voice will definitely help you know uh I know it will help many more people. Um, so, yeah, man, you know, also, uh, last question, I just want to know, 2020, you know, we are in August now. It's about, it's going to be a wrap soon. It's been a tough year for everybody, you know. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's been, it's been a tough year. Every day it's just like, yes. Uh, yeah. So what, what, what's the rest of the year looking like for you? You know, I mean, let me not even say the rest of the year because you, we live in unpredictable times. So for me, what has been helping me is I'm just taking my days one day at a time. Um, I'm just making sure that I'm, I'm focusing on the positive things. I'm focusing on my strengths um, more than anything. I'm barely on social media because it's um, either when I have to post and then get off. Yeah, like social media is very like now it's dark in Germany and it's very negative. So I try to stay away from social media. Um, and yeah, I'm more focused like every day. I'm like, okay, be in a positive space. What are you going to do today? As long as you make it through the next day, um, you yeah like i'm very i'm really focusing on myself that's what it is for me 2020 is handy how are you going to become a better person um how are you going to become a stronger product i'm very um i'm learning like i'm falling in love with myself more and more i'm discovering what's how what's against you can do this you can do that so yeah i'm really really working on being the best like the best person that i can be so I can be best for like you or anyone that I ever interact or I ever talk, um, talk to, you know. So it starts with you, though. It starts with the self-love. So that's where I, I, I'm at. I'm very like, hey, Tandy, you can do better than you're doing right now. So, yeah, that's my 2020. Just be positive. Um, really, yeah, walk towards the lights or just positivity, love all the time, music, you know what it is. So, yeah, that's my 2020. Okay, and and please keep blessing us with more music. And uh, I I I love the mixes that you play on. I see you get featured on a, on a couple of uh, digital shows. So shout yeah, out to you. yeah. Thank you so you. much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Hopefully, you know, post COVID, will you know you you'll be hosting your own shows, and we will just come and support you. Yep. Oh, we can't wait. You know, I I I said something. I was like, guys, I get that there's COVID in this all these things, but we can't wait for COVID pay. Like, if I have to host shows from my bedroom, which I have been, I mean, we've been, we've been playing online. Um, yeah, now is the time. We can't wait. I mean, what if the COVID push until 2055? 
but I'll be, we'll still be like, when COVID you pay, like, you know what I mean? I feel like, like, like do something now. Like, I don't know, like, wake up, bake a cake, when do something, yeah, boy. Because I want to say, you feel into the COVID, COVID, um, it's really gonna, it's a very dark thing. It's gonna pull you down. So I try my best to not be like, yeah, when COVID ends or when this ends our mind, you're like, yeah, we push now, we, we produce now, we release now. We we make shows where or we put ourselves in spaces where we can at least do what we need to do. So yeah, don't wait, don't wait for anyone. What if we travel pay like us? Hey man, I hope not. The, the, yeah. There's a volcano that erupted <laughs> somewhere uh, yesterday, or is it today? I don't know if you saw that on the news. Yeah, uh, you see, I don't even. I barely watch. I barely watch TV, so I I wouldn't. I really wouldn't know. Like okay. only thing is, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure it's chaotic. It's always chaos. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You know, I've always wanted to ask you this, right? Mm -hmm. You obviously you, you produce house music, you release house music, but you yeah. know, you have a beautiful voice. Are you ever gonna drop like an album full body of work? And if you do, what sound would you do? Um <laughs> You know, I'm laughing because you know, I've been this question, I get asked this question since in Kumbulin's music. I am going to one day put a whole lot of songs, just beautiful music together. And then I'm going to give it to you guys one day. I just, um, I don't know when. I'm just, for now, like I said, I'm just, I just make music and I'm going with the flow. Like I'm going with what feels right. I don't want to be like, yeah, millions of manji. You know, mm -hmm. if it's not my time, if it's not the space, then it's not the space that I need to be in. But most definitely that is one of the in my bucket list, in one of the things that I want to do, I'd love to give you guys a whole Tandy Dry um album. And I can't say genres because um yeah, I mean, for me, music is a body feeling. I mean, look at Ciela Side, the Long Shaba track that we did. I, number one, vocally, I've never sung like that. Uh, on Ciela Side's side, he told me that he's never produced anything that sounds like that, which I do believe in because I listen to a lot of his music. And yeah, Long mm -hmm. Shaba production, yeah, corner is I've never heard anything like that from Ciela Side. So I can't. I'm full of it. Yeah, it's going to be Afro tech or it's going to be home or my piano or anything. I, I don't want to say that. All I can promise you is that I'm going to only work with the very best and um, I'm going to keep on giving you good feelings. That's, that's for me, music, you feeling. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, shout out, man. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, yeah. Ish, unfortunately, it's quite so shy. But I'm not going to yeah, go on yeah. and on. <laughs> <laughs> and apologies for alien you know that has never happened okay it has happened but most of the time it's not my fault <laughs> no this is no, man it's okay these things this happen the time, this, this is the first time that is my fault you know like i i'm like what, what just happened <laughs> no man it's fine this is the end i mean come on technical errors do happen but we're back and yeah we had an amazing time that's all that's important and thank you so much for putting giving me a space um to yeah talk and you know just be myself so thank you yeah okay and then uh, sharp sharp and for to everybody that came back after we went on off uh thank you so much uh i'll post this interview on my wall and additionally i'm also going to post it on the journalist dj.com tomorrow so you can catch the full story there so thank you Siabonga. good night tandy good night Sabonga, thank you so much all right sharp sharp Thank you so much. Thank you for for everyone who tuned in. Yeah, you can catch up maybe later. Um, yeah, we'll come back to the post and then to the chat. Sure.